I just love showing students here the world. That's so exciting. With over 400 million speakers worldwide and being one of the United Nations and U.S. government's critical languages, Arabic opens the door to an exciting world. The Arabic and Middle Eastern Studies program is the only one in the region to teach students Arabic language training and competence. Being able to have some language competency and familiarity is very important to Wyoming. Language is your passport to the world. Learn another language and you'll be able to understand its speakers, do business with them, and sometimes even diffuse crises. Knowledge of Arabic in particular gives you access to the thinking, cultures, and heritage of over 400 million speakers spread over four time zones and spanning over 14 centuries of history. We offer small classroom settings with low teacher to student ratios. We integrate native speakers and other students and faculty coming from the Middle East and North Africa into our program. We place them in mentor type relationships with our non-native speaking Arabic students in order to enrich that experience of exchange and look forward to our students being able to experience not only an educational opportunity but also a cultural experience. I can learn Arabic the way that I feel like is best for me, so I love the approach that we're taking. I think it's opened my mind to a lot more different things that I'm capable of doing. We want to get you out in the world. We're all about experiential learning. We're all about going into the field. We are the best endowed university in the United States for per capita funding that students can get to travel abroad. So we're excited to say that if you're a part of our program, you'll have a large number of opportunities for you to, to travel and study abroad during the summer or academic year and encourage you to take advantage of those and fund you to do that. I knew I wanted to do something different and then I realized we had this incredible opportunity to study abroad and then I discovered Project GO. I started researching the countries and the languages and something about Jordan and the Arabic language just intrigued me. Honestly, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. The Arab people are incredible, the food is amazing, the country is so beautiful and rich in history, and I feel like it's changed the way that I live my life, I interact with other people, and as a leader, I'm more empathetic and knowing and culturally aware. If you have international experience, that's also a huge help for getting a job. Our students have internships with the State Department, with NGOs all over the world, so many different agencies, international agencies, all of those lines on the resume, that really makes a, a big difference. I definitely really like the experiential learning aspect of my studies. I know that's something that students at a lot of universities don't have the opportunity to do, and I think it's one of my favorite aspects of the program. Being involved in this program gave me a lot of really incredible opportunities right off the bat. Because UW has such a phenomenal study abroad program, I was able to go to Morocco for what was going to be an internship at a refugee center. And then I also went on that faculty-led trip to Jordan, Israel, and Palestine this past summer. And so I feel like when I look back at my undergraduate career, it's just full of incredible opportunities and incredible people that I've met along the way. The values that people in Wyoming have and the values that people in the Middle East have, they align so perfectly. Wyoming, they say it's a small town with long streets, and so we take care of each other. I have never met in my life people as nice as the people of Wyoming. It's not difficult to make friends. I'm planning to stay for some time in Wyoming, hopefully forever. I left Wyoming wanting to see the world and then came back here to raise my family because it's such a great place to raise a family. Now I can say that Wyoming is home to me. We have lots of faculty that have come to teach at the University of Wyoming uh, on a permanent basis that are from the Middle East and North Africa and speak Arabic as their native tongue. A couple years ago, Dr. Penelope Shahab joined us from Jordan. Dr. Penelope has been recognized as one of the top Muslim women leaders in the Middle East for entrepreneurial innovation. She, as a scholar and a professor from the Middle East, has joined us in that effort in promoting Middle East culture. We can do this together and it's nice to just to understand each other and to accept each other and to learn new things. We have a cultural club called the Middle East North Africa Culture Club that meets on a regular basis and holds activities where uh, students of different backgrounds can mix with one another over 
culture, playing games, singing songs, potlucks. And we all have this opportunity to exchange with each other our favorite foods and cultural ideas. We have so many different people from different backgrounds with different nationalities that speak different languages. The international community is so large and growing here and there are so many ways to be involved. Our door is always open. We're going to be starting a regular coffee hour where students from different backgrounds are able to interact. So join us for that. We hope that you're there. We hope that you take advantage of our different language classes. We hope that you take advantage of the cultural opportunities we can present you. And we're excited to be a part of your journey to professional fulfillment in the future.